6.3, working with normally distributed variables. So example one, I think we looked at these rattlesnakes already. The length of a Western rattlesnake is normally distributed with a mean of 42 inches and a standard deviation of two inches. And X is my variable, my length of Western rattlesnakes. So because I know it's normally distributed, when I sketch the distribution of X, I know it fits that normal curve. Um, the number that goes in the middle is the mean, so 42 goes in the middle, or the center, and then we count by twos three times for a standard deviation of two. So one, two, three, so that'll be 44, 46, 48, and then we'll subtract 40, 38, and 36. And this is x for length of rattlesnakes. We always do three because of that 99.7% was within three standard deviations. So what we're going to learn this section is we're going to convert data to standard normal, which is the z. And the reason we like this is it basically makes all data look the same. And then it's really easy to calculate information about it. So if we want to identify and sketch the distribution of z for this variable, z is always the same. Zero goes in the middle. We go one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. And that's the z curve. It's always the same. So this one's going to be really useful because we can use those calculator functions from last section to make conclusions about any data set. So the standardized version of a random variable is the data value minus the mean, so x minus mu, all over the standard deviation. The same z-score formula we've been using all semester. So we've actually done this before, we just didn't do it for this reason. And it represents the number of standard deviations x is away from the mean. And the reason this is really important is the area is actually the same. So if we find the area from A to B on the X curve, and then we find the corresponding Z scores, we can find the area between those two Z scores. So it just allows us to find probabilities and percents for any data set. So the area under the normal curve between mu and sigma that lies between A and B is the same or equal to the area under the normal curve, where we have z1 is a minus mu over c sigma, so that's my first z-score, and my second z-score is b minus mu over sigma. And so this is gonna be a really nice property to make conclusions. So let's try an example. So example two. I'll go through the steps as we do this example. We have the area to the right of 60, and we know the mean is 50 and the standard deviation is 15. So step one is to draw the normal curve. I usually just draw the curve and then I at least put the mean in the middle. I maybe don't label the, the standard deviation every single time. Um, we're gonna go ahead and shade the area to be found. So we wanna find the area to the right of 60. So I'll just approximate where 60 is and we'll shade the area. And then we're gonna compute the z-score. So we can't use normal CDF yet because it's not standardized. So we're gonna compute the z-score and mark it on the graph. So let's find the z-score. This is standardizing our data. So we'll say z is 60 minus 50 all over 15. And I got 0.6667. So I just write myself a little note, z is 0.6667. So if we went to that normal curve instead at the standard normal, it would be 0.667, so a little bit before one. So we did step three, and now we can finally use normal CDF. 
And we need to have z scores to use normal CDF. That's why we had to do that step. So we'll do the same thing we did in 6.2. We'll do normal CDF. You'll do your lower endpoint, which is 0.6667. And then since we just keep going, we're going to infinity. So 10 to the 99. And this will output our area. So second distribution, lower, upper. So normal CDF, 0.6667 comma 10 to the 99, and we get an area of about 25%, 0 0.2524. And so that would be area under the curve. So really similar to 6.2, you just have to find the z-score before you can use normal CDF. And what's nice is we have found z-score before. We've done it a lot. We just haven't done it with this extra information.